with that developing story. It is moving quite quickly in the last uh, hour or so. The U.S. soldier Travis King, who was being held in North Korea, is now in U.S. custody. Hours earlier, North Korea said it would deport Private King, who ran into the country across the demilitarized zone in July. He had been due to be flown to the U.S. to face military disciplinary proceedings when he escaped his escort and then entered into North Korean territory. So those details emerging all the time. As I say, it is moving quite quickly. We have uh, our teams in, uh, Nor in uh, Seoul, in South Korea, also in Washington. Gary O'Donoghue, our correspondent, he's just uh, getting into his seat there as we go uh, to him for the latest, because uh, just in the last few moments, the Reuters news agency reporting that uh, the private is in U.S. custody after being expelled by North Korea into China. A, a very interesting, significant development. There is a picture of Travis King and, of course, taking everybody surprise a month or so ago when suddenly he made that escape across uh, the DMZ into North Korea. And we've heard absolutely nothing since then, uh, apart from just one or two lines from the North Korean authorities and apart from that, absolute silence. So, as I say, Gary O'Donoghue, ready to talk to us uh, about all the latest. And, Gary, in terms of what we are learning just in the last few minutes, uh, that Private King now in U.S. custody... Yeah, we can say that he is now in U.S. custody. And, of course, this comes after being in uh, in detention inside North Korea for just over two months. He crossed over from the, the demilitarized zone, from the joint security area into North Korea in the middle of July. Uh, and he's been there ever since. We should be able to bring you more details in short order about how this whole thing un unraveled and how it um all came about at the moment that's that's under wraps but uh, we do understand he's in the custody of of the the u.s military uh, and on his way home in that sense so we should be able to bring you some more on that bear in mind this has been you know this will have been a huge diplomatic effort one way or another um the, the u.s doesn't have diplomatic relations with uh, the dprk uh, more often than not in the past certainly sweden has represented the United States in Pyongyang. So they may well have been involved uh, in all this and there may have been other agencies involved too. But a sort of difficult situation for both sides does look like it's been resolved. The North Koreans themselves have issued a statement saying they've expelled Travis King. They make reference actually uh, to what they say is his attitudes to America uh, in terms of racial inequality and unfairness of society here. Of course, Travis King is a black man. Uh, and th they, that's something that came out while he was in detention. And people wondered whether he'd said any of that of, of his own free will. We'll f find out, presumably, at some point when he gets to speak uh, freely, if he chooses to do that. But uh, as we understand it now, on his way back to U.S. territory in some form or other, the private from 23 year old private from Wisconsin, it's also worth bearing in mind, Matthew, that he's for him and his family, things are a little bit uncertain about the future because he was on a charge when he uh, crossed over into North Korea. He'd been taken to the airport by military officials uh, to be put on a plane back to the United States to face charges over uh, criminal damage and assault while on deployment in South Korea. Uh, he left the airport. He went on a tour to the demilitarized zone, the JSA. Uh, and that's when basically he made a run for it. Gary, we know that he's been deported. There is so much in this story we don't know, and perhaps we will learn through the next three hours of today's show here on Verified Live, both from uh, South Korea, the details emerging there, the details uh, likely to come from officials where you are, but we don't know the when, the how, the why, even what condition uh, Travis King is actually in. No, uh, not not officially at this stage at, at any rate. We should, as I say, be able to bring you some more of that uh, in pretty short order. But at the moment, that's all we can, can say. Uh, of course, you know, there will be concerns about him, won't there? Because you'll remember the, the American student, Otto Warmbier, who was detained in North Korea uh, back in 2000, uh, well, in the mid 2010s. Uh, eventually released in a coma and came brought back to the United States and died 
in short order after that afterwards. So people will be looking very carefully and asking very close questions about the way Travis King has been treated during his time, because that is of concern. And if you go back more historically, Matthew, there have been other American soldiers who have crossed over. I mean, this this for our viewers, let's just remind them that this uh, demilitarized zone, this division along the, the 53rd parallel has been there, uh, 38th parallel rather, has been there since 1953, since the end of the, the Korean War and an arm, armistice, not the end of it, but an armistice. And since then, America, some American soldiers have crossed over. Many of them have died in North Korea. Well, Gary, for now, thanks very much for that update. I'm sure we'll talk again through the next couple of hours. But uh, Gary O'Donoghue, live for us there in Washington with the latest.